Alrighty guys, here we go. We got the next part here. We are about to pro to go into the fight here with the British force here. And I'm debating going and sallying out against this force here because it would be a lot easier to beat them without this reinforcing for army here uh, to be able to pincer us from both sides. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the entire force and we are going to sally out and attack them here. And they are going to have the reinforcements of that other force. But they're, uh, let's see, we outnumber them by a good amount, and we'll just have to cover two flanks here, and I'm not much for holding out against somebody, I'm going to go out and fight you myself, and we're going to fight in the open field, and that's just how it's going to be, so we're going to hop right in here. As soon as the loading screen is done, it is against Arthur Wellesley, which I'm pretty sure I killed earlier in the campaign. So, that's kind of weird, I guess. You know, he is the Duke of Wellington, so I guess they kind of keep him in the game there. So, we have a good number of these guys who will group up, and we'll group up these guys also, and we'll group up the cavalry. There we go. Pop them up. General, pop over here. You. We want you to be in a single line formation. So let's take them. Alright, there we go. And then we have these guys who we want in a single line formation. We want to put them slightly behind. And then the general, slightly behind them. And then the cavalry will obviously go in the single line formation and they can go there. Okay, so go ahead and hop right in here. So it's a good number of enemy troops here, so we'll take these guys, pull them here. Good position there. Take the reserves put them there take the cavalry put them there take the general put him right over here and there we go oh we do have the end oh snap okay uh cavalry 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 attack that general militia turn around hurry up hurry up hurry up Come on now, come on now. There we go, come on. Oh, snap. This is a bit awkward here. Okay, we want these units flank on the side here. What are you doing? These three cavalry units, so useless. Get there, come on now. Okay, now these guys charge in here. Stop moving. Get into your position. Come on now. Okay, first army. Run and get into position there. So they can fight it out there. Do have the three cavalry units coming out and attacking here. And these two infantry units over there. Fight it out with them. We've broken that unit. We have killed that ah, good. We killed George Thomas Hereford here. Which is a good, uh, good, good job. Do have the artillery. Okay, now we are going to need the reinforcements to come in there soon okay so these three units minus that one uh, we want to move them and bring them over here uh, cavalry there infantry here and I believe that's all the infantry Come on now. Let's go. What are y'all doing? Y'all just hanging out. I'm gonna 
kill off those units there. If we can. Okay, come a little bit closer here. That way the general. Okay, now y'all can walk now. No reason to run. Uh, what are you freaking doing? Retarded. Jesus, what the fuck is this? I'm like so retarded right now. There we go. Okay, let's shatter both of those. And right into the uh, the other unit here. We'll just keep on shattering them. Uh, here on the front, we're doing well. Good job at fighting that main British force here. And they're not in a uh, in a square formation, so we're going to be able to pincer right in on them. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, huge group of forces here. They're not going to be able to hold that off. That's too many. I think we outnumber them in the number of units in this fight here. Okay, push through, push through. There we go, a little bit of a, a trick there. Which makes my guys kind of like envelop them right there. And now they're all awkwardly uh, faced in this position here. There we go. And if we hop back over here. Let's take these guys, shift them in position here. Good, we want to run them. Okay, left flank, left flank, we need units on. Okay, you two. Get to the left flank, hurry up and run, double time. Double time it. Uh, you just hang out right here, you can just walk. Uh, we'll take this militia unit. Congratulations, you're getting inserted onto the flank there. Uh, good play here. We've pretty much routed this entire force here. Shattered off that British Dutch. I think that's British Dutch, right? Yeah, British Dutch line infantry will shatter that unit there, and then we'll pretty much have control of this battle here. We have the Royal British Fusiliers here, which are definitely hurting us. Um, wow, that's a lot of uh, a lot of smoke. Lag in my computer a little bit. Uh, come on, they're wavering. They're wavering. Just shatter. Just shatter, so we can take the cavalry. To where they probably be a little bit more useful. Okay, that unit's only broken, so we're probably gonna use the cavalry as kind of like cleanup units right now. They'll just clean up anybody who in, who's broken and just shatter them. So there we go. Cavalry can go onto that flank there. There we go. Militia right there. You too. Go. Run to get into position there. We need double timing. Double timing. We need to flank some of these units here. Keep control of this battle here. We need to take care of that artillery soon. They're really shelling the crap out of some of these line units. They only have two artillery units in here. So it shouldn't be too hard. They're not really that strong right now. They're very weak in this center area here. And now we kind of have the numbers to be able to swing around and uh, beat them here. We can kind of almost flip it in like this. Like this. Move them into position there. And uh, take the other militia units. Move them right over there. Alright, cavalry. Get into a position where we can use you. Militia, get into a position where you're going to be useful. Uh, okay, there you're... Just in range, good. Just in range, so we can get some good shots off right now. There we go, some nice shots. Kill off some of them. We do have these other units retreating here. And we're kind of starting to form that uh, large concave here, which is going to be very key. We need to get rid of some more of these big bunched units here so we can get right into this cavalry here. We can take them out with the two cavalry units and then Wellington, um, but we need to uh, 
We need to eliminate more of this infantry that they've got lying around here. Uh, you guys run to get in a position. Go hurry up! Run, 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 run! Cause they got they got a unit that they're trying to move over this Royal British Fusiliers right here. Very strong units, man. Uh, definitely nothing to play with. They will uh, they do a lot of damage to enemy units. But uh, we kind of just outnumber them, and our troops are so uh, are decently experienced here that we're able to do a lot of damage here. And more guys just getting more and more experience here. Which is great because ex with experience comes better shooting and better everything at that point. Uh, we have the Duke of Wellington coming out here. I hope he goes on that flank there. He's going to take some good shots um, on that flank there if he does indeed go there. So here we go. Form that concave. We're pretty much completely la wrapping around them now here at this point. And if we can wrap around them completely. They're going to be in a lot of trouble. Alright, here we go. Let's get the cavalry over here. Need to be able to get into a shooting range. Oh, snap. That guy's still in melee. A few of these militia units, I think, are still in melee. Make sure none of them are still in melee. Okay, there we go. I think all yep, all out of melee here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna with this unit, we're going to reform here. Hurry up, reform. As soon as we turn, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna be in shooting range. There we go. Good shots. We're gonna take a. They're gonna take a lot of damage here. It's not good. They they lose morale very heavily once they start uh, taking small arms fire. And there goes the general. We pretty much routed their entire force here. Pretty much all the infantry is just kind of like um. I'm kind of done here. And they're all like on their way out. That artillery is all that's really holding them together still. If we can manage to eliminate that artillery here. It'll pretty much be a complete victory for us at this point. And to top it off, we're going to go in for Duke of Wellington here at this point. Here we go. Here goes the large number of cavalry that we have. We're going to charge them into the Duke of Wellington. Uh, they do have cavalry still alive here, but the cavalry is not doing much. They're just kind of running in front of the, uh, the guns and taking a lot of fire. So let's reform here. And the cavalry, here they come. We'll go right in for the, uh, we go, come on. Here we go, come on. Stop standing still. Charge. Charge the cavalry. And the artillery, there we go. Let's go, here we go. We got charging in right here on the Duke of Wellington here. And we get in on the artillery. Everyone else has retreated from the battlefield here. There is one British Dutch unit left. And we'll actually just charge the uh, the militia in here. The Duke of Wellington is dead. Oh, snap. oh he's just wounded. So I, I don't think the Duke of Wellington actually ever dies. I think he just gets really wounded and then gets um, recruited again eventually later um, either that or we just wounded him in this situation and he wasn't actually killed um, you never know and there we go that should be a victory here we should get the victory in just one second and yeah good good win here taking out just completely annihilating that enemy force there very key for us to do to show our dominance in this area here as we only lose a thousand men in the battle and pretty much wipe out that force completely and do a lot of damage to uh the duke of wellington's army which we could probably pursue here at this point because it's pretty much dead let's see we can get the great arsenal here 
which would be really helpful. Which I believe with the great arsenal, do we get any better of uh, horse artillery? No, it's all foot artillery. Uh, okay, we'll pick up that. And that'll be alright. Um, yeah, so right now I believe we're still recruiting naval ships. Yes, we are. And they're kind of being economically strangleholded here at this point. Um, we're going to take this whole army and we're going to crush the Duke of Wellington here. And this will probably be, depending on how long it takes, the last fight before the end of the part. But it will completely wipe out this enemy force here of the British. And really give us the ability, once we get these artillery units, to push on into... To really move towards London and take London eventually. Um, which I think we could do if we play our cards right. So we do have this enemy force. How many units do they have? They have barely any units left. So... I think at this point we kind of could just hold position because we're almost like in shooting range already. Um, we're not going to quite do that though. We're going we're gonna to do something different here. And we're going to move the militia here because they're not going to be part of this fight here. And we'll take these guys, move them into a straight line here. Somewhat into a straight line. Um, it's a bit awkward. A bit awkward positioning here. There we go. Just a big giant line here. And then these units. Them into a straight line here. Single line. General. In position here. And we're ready to go. So let's take these guys. Let's scoot them up a bit. And run them into position here because I believe once they get into that position yeah they'll be far into enemy the firing range by that point actually maybe not too far into firing range but they'll be in firing range for sure which is great they're not really a uh, it's kind of awkward here at this point they're kind of like blindly shooting over the hill here but it's a it's a tough enemy force that they're going up against here And we'll pretty much take this army, completely loop them around the flag here. Sir, our general is, under attack. is he? Well, let's just pull him back. We don't need him. I don't want him dying or anything crazy like that for no reason. Okay, let's just make sure if we need to. We can throw these guys in a square formation. I don't think we're going to need to. These guys are kind of in a perfect position. They're going to be able to take a good fire at that uh, that cavalry unit there. Oh, that's going to really hurt there. That's a lot of cavalry killed there. What in the world are you doing? Get in a position. Freaking crazy. There we go. Killing off pretty much everything. They do get a slight charge in on us though. So we'll throw them in square. Throw them in square. This unit. Counter charge. Which is always a good thing to do. And they have that support on the flanks of those square formations. Which is pretty much going to route that entire force there. Uh, this army here, these regiments, we can pretty much pull them over here. And, yep, yeah, we'll put these guys, like, right here. Take them out of square formation. Which one's in the square? This one's in the square. And all right, this is just going to be a pretty much a slaughter here. It's almost like a it's a statement to the uh, British here that guess what? We the Scottish are going to take this the the British Isles here and there's nothing you can do about it. We're in control of it now. Not you. Not anymore. We're not going to be suppressed any longer. We're in control of it all. So they're pretty much non-existent now. 
and it's just that one force they're all routed that's a victory and I believe this should pretty much wipe them out completely because they are stuck in like a hole here stuck against that little I'm sorry about that the timer went off um, so they'll be stuck between that little peninsula here which will force them to pretty much this was there it's kind of like a siege situation here and there we go that army completely killed here we get confident general and attacking general so he's now like a he's a five-star general he's got much higher command which is great and we're back in the the city here all my forces uh, that one's pretty full up there and then we'll have the artillery being produced down here that's good stuff all right so I believe this will be the end of this part here. Next part, we'll be finishing up the artillery and then moving on for London. So, hope, hope you guys enjoyed this part here. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.